Hello, welcome to another episode of our vlog. Uh, today is the 26th of December, which is Boxing Day here in Australia. People go all out and go shopping and buy a lot of stuff on sale. However, this year we've decided to stay at home and just chill because of you know the whole situation right now and it's just better to be safe uh, to stay at home. The so Hong's out right now getting a few items for us. We're trying to have something a bit more healthy and yeah, I'm thinking of cooking like an Asian meal where we can have rice and some veggies and some meat. So yeah, uh, let's get cooking. <laughs> We're gonna make some rice now. I've got the normal white jasmine rice, which is our staple at home. I'm gonna make maybe three cups for lunch and dinner between the two of us. This is purple rice that we just got. You just add a little bit of it. I think I'll just get a pinch. Yeah. Yay! Maybe a little bit more. It looks like this now, but later the whole thing should turn like purplish. No, 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 no. Mix well and keep warm. No, 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 no. Keep no, 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 no. Do you have to press like a stop Play button? Regular. Oh. Start cooking. And then it takes 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a new rice cooker that Hong's parents bought us recently uh, and apparently it's really good so we don't even know how to use it properly yet but we're very excited for the fluffy and shiny rice it produces. So here we're going to make this Korean dish that's like pan seed zucchini with eggs. I've never made this before and I didn't really research on how to make it so let's just try eyeball it. So I just checked the recipe online, apparently we're meant to have some flour with this so glad I checked it beforehand or else would have made a big mistake. It would have been like overcooked eggs on zucchini. Okay so I'm just going to put some plain flour here, put the zucchinis in and then Hong taught me this trick, put a plate over it and then you shake it. You can also tilt it different angles and then like, shake like it. Like this? Yeah, tilt it to the side so you cover all the sides, you know, tilt it to the left oh, and the right. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like now. Hey, not bad. Right, yeah. Round two. I feel my fat jiggling as <laughs> it is. This is what they look like now. They look like winter vegetables. Oh my god, they look like winter melon. You know the ones with like powdered sugar on it? to make the protein for lunch. Um, I've got some onion, some garlic and ginger which will go with the beef and that should enhance the flavor quite a bit so let's go. Chef Hong. And now we'll just slice it into like half moon circles. Half circles, half moons, moons. Beef here is just your standard like hot pot beef, nothing special. Put it all in. <laughs> I just grabbed the Azuma gloves. Like... <laughs> okay, firstly, I've got soy sauce. So every Asian recipe has soy sauce. Um, I don't know how much to put, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. That looks about right. Next up, I've got some dark soy sauce, so oh, it gives it bit. like more color. But you don't need too much of it. Yes, so just give it a small drip. And then maybe like one teaspoon of sugar. And lastly, we've got some pepper. I don't think I need any salt just because there's so much soy sauce in here already. And now we mix. This is the fun part. I think real Koreans use like, I think, pear puree for this. But we don't have that. Do you need any wine? Chinese wine? We can have some wine. Want. Add a little bit. <laughs> this is our own recipe, so it's not really authentic, but you know. Gonna try it. This is some Shaoxing wine, so Chinese cooking wine. Mm, it's not good. Oh, that's 
good. Sweet and savory and beefy. Yum. And this looks really fast though. It does, yeah, it does. Yum. Can't wait to eat. I'm hungry. I know. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. 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 Let's eat! Not bad. I didn't put any salt on it. I did. Mmm. Oh. Not bad. The flavor is really good. Mm. Mm. Onion is really nice. Sweet. You can even add like chili if you don't want to you know, you eat it. That's true. That would have been good. Mmm, and some scallions. And dip this pancake in. Yeah. The sauce. Chili and scallions would be so nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like chili oil? Mm. Not like fresh chilies. Mmm. A bit more, you know. A bit of a kick. Right now we're in the office and um, I thought I'd show you guys a new product that I found. Da -da -da -da. These are extra choc Maltesers and I think it has like double coated chocolate, you know, around the Malteser. Um, just kind of similar to the Tim Tam double coat. So let's give this a go. Well, I already had one, but you know, I'll just give it a go on camera just to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. That is actually massive. This is definitely bigger than a usual Malteser, right? I don't know, I don't really eat Maltesers. It's like 1.5 times the size. I think it's because of the chocolate. They coated it again with chocolate, so massive, massive. Not very creative though. Imagine your boss tells you to come with a new flavor and you're like, okay, I'll just add extra chocolate. <laughs> the Malteser cross section looks like. As you can see, the chocolate layer is super thick. I actually think I prefer the normal ones. Because when you eat it, you get that crunch, like satisfaction. Whereas when you eat this one, there's no crunch because of the thicker chocolate. Still nice overall though. 